Hey, it's Jeff from Assigner here. This video provides a quick overview of how to assign your officials using Assigner.com. The assigning process generally starts by navigating to the Games, All Games page. Once you're there, you'll identify the game that needs to be assigned, then you'll click the Assign button. Each assignable position has a drop-down list, which you use to select the official assigned to each position. If you know the name of the person that you want to assign, you can either scroll to find them, or you can just start typing their first or last name, and their name will show up on the list. You'll notice that each name either has the word OK next to their name, or it will have one or more letters shown in red. The red letters indicate there may be a conflict or a reason why you might not want to assign this official to the game. When you click the person's name, a signer will tell you what the specific conflicts mean when you click the Conflicts tab. In this case, the red D means that there's a date conflict or that this official isn't available to work on this day. In addition to conflicts, a signer will also show you where the official is from based on their home address. If you have configured your venues with a street address, a signer will also calculate the straight line distance between the official's home and the venue so you can see how far this official will need to travel. If this official is already working somewhere else, rather than showing the city they live in, a signer will show you what venue that they are currently at. When this happens, you'll see a map pin and the name of the venue rather than the picture of the house and the name of the city. If you're using our U.S. Soccer Federation integration, we also show the referee's certification next to their name. Other organizations will see the referee's grade in this field. We also show the official's age if the official has provided their date of birth. The assign screen will automatically show you all the referees that could be assigned to this game, regardless of whether they have a conflict with the game or not. If you want to just see the referees without conflicts, you can use the toggle at the bottom of the page. When you choose Officials Without Conflicts, any referee who has a conflict will no longer appear in the list. The standard sort order for the list of officials is alphabetical. If you want to see a list of officials by distance from the venue, you can click the toggle at the bottom of the page to change the sort order. The closest officials will be shown at the top of the list. Once you're ready to notify officials of their assignments, you'll need to publish the game. Once the game has been published, any changes made to that game from that point forward will generate notifications to the assigned officials. You can publish the games by using the Publish button for each game, or you can use the Batch Update page, where you can indicate a date range and other criteria and publish a set of games all at once. We hope this has been helpful for you. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to get in touch with us as we're always here to help.